Hi everybody, Rob here again at Power Learning Solutions with my first unboxing video, I guess you could call it. About a week or so ago, I uh, published a blog post called I'm Flipping Mad uh, in response to the announcement by Microsoft that they were going to be discontinuing the Flip website and the uh, Flip app, uh, formerly known as Flipgrid. Uh, and that they were going to be integrating the flip camera and some of those tools directly into Microsoft Teams. I'm not going to spend any time in this video talking about why I'm not really happy about that. Uh, I cover that in my blog post. But uh, I figured that I'd make this unboxing video because, um, as I note in my blog post, I'm switching over to Padlet for some of my previous Flipboard activities. I'm going to use Padlet walls instead. And since I published my blog post, well, Padlet has literally come to the rescue and they have uploaded a new tool. They've created a new tool. I saw this link posted on my various social media channels, uh, a tool that will let you import your content from Flip directly into Padlet walls instead of having to recreate the Padlet walls from scratch like I tried to do last week. So I'm going to give this a try. And if you click on the instructions in the article here, uh, they talk about uh, exporting all of your, your flip content at once and they'll import it all into your Padlet wall. I'm not going to do that because I've already recreated some of my Padlet walls. I'm going to give this a go with just one of my flip board activities that I haven't yet updated. Uh, so I've got my, uh, my flip account open here. And I've got uh, my quality assurance discussion uh, board open. This is a flip wall that I set up for one of my instructional design courses. After we go through uh, a week of talking about the quality assurance process and getting expert peer reviews and student peer reviews, why that would be important, uh, an important step in the instructional design process. And I already have some responses here. The reason why I wanna export this wall uh, and all of the content in it is because I continuously use this same board. Rather than setting up a new one every term, I have students just add new posts uh, every term to this one wall and they can go back and they can see content from previous cohorts and what they had to say about the importance of the quality assurance uh, process. So I wanna export this wall and all of the content and import it directly into my Flipboard. Uh, not my Flipboard, my Padlet wall. So the instructions are to go to Flip, find uh, the settings and uh, the videos and request to export that file. And then you're gonna import the download file into uh, Padlet. So let's give this a go and see if it actually works. All right, I've got my wall open here, my, my, uh, pad, my Flip uh, board under my three dots. I can see uh, export data. So this is what I want to look for here. I'm gonna click on export data. All right, so we can see all of the responses have downloaded here. Uh, so um, I'll save that file as it is. And I'm gonna go back to my instructions. Okay, so request your download, import the file. It, it uh, should be a zip file. Okay, so it doesn't look like it downloaded a zip file for me. It downloaded an Excel spreadsheet. So that's not what I'm looking for. So we're gonna have to give this another try and see how this would work. All right, so I'm not seeing a way here to export uh, just the videos that are in this particular uh, flip board. Yeah, it's just going to do that CSV file, which is not what I'm looking for no option under the share so it looks like i'm going to need to actually go to my home page for flip and follow through on their instructions i can't do this just one wall at a time 
All right, so in flip.com, log in, go to the top left and look for my videos. All right, so I'm in flip. I've got my videos here. Okay, so this is all of my uh, videos that I have uploaded. So I don't want just my videos. Um, topic videos. Okay, so that's not what I'm looking for here. So it doesn't look like it's going to actually allow me to export the videos that are created by my students. Okay, so we are running into a bit of an issue here using this, uh, this um, tool. I guess for privacy reasons, Flip is not going to let you download all of the content created by your students. Uh, I can do that one video at a time, as I've done in some of my, uh, my previous Padlet Walls recreating them, but I can't download all of the student videos at once. I can only download videos that I've created. So essentially, the process of using this Padlet import tool uh, to, uh, to import your content directly into a Padlet Wall is going to create extra steps for you and not make it easier for you to set up one of your previous flip activities as a padlet wall so here is what i did instead so i'm in my padlet here and i uh, set up a welcome to the course demo version and i manually added some content to this including some posts that had been created by students that uh, they were okay with me sharing for the purposes of this, uh, this activity. So I'm going to go through the process now. I'll show you how to set one of these up uh, to replace that uh, previous wall that I was looking at, which was the um, that have your say on quality assurance. So I'm going to uh, go back to my EdTech grid here, which is one of my grids. I am going to find that um, quality assurance. So I had this video here as a prompt for it and a bunch of student videos. I'm not going to be able to copy all these student videos over. Uh, I don't want to do that one by one. It's a bit of a hassle. Uh, with all that amount of content, so it looks like I'm going to have to start over from scratch. But here's what I'll do. It's going to be called Quality Assurance. Here is the um, the instructions that I have for that. So I'm going to go to Padlet, and I'm going to create a new Padlet wall on here. So I'll click on Make, and I can set this up using any of these as I want. Um, I'm just going to call this, I uh, use a blank board for this. I'm going to call this quality assurance. I can pick whatever templates that I want. Uh, so I've got my title in here. I'm going to edit my settings for this. So I'm going to add in my description. I can add whatever background that I want. I don't like this grassy looking background, so I'm going to find a nice picture that I want for my background. Uh, so let's pick let's pick this nice techy looking one here. And I can set up whatever set, uh, settings that I want on this. Uh, so I'm going to leave all of these settings alone for right now. And I'm now going to add my first post onto this, which is going to be that prompt video that I had from here. So I'm just going to get the address for this one. And I'm going to add a post. Okay. 
put in a link and this will be to a YouTube video. So I'll put in the link here. And the title on this one was U of T Quality Matters Peer Review. Okay. U of T Quality Matters Peer Review Process. Now, since I'm setting this up as instructions, I'm going to change the color from white to something else. Maybe I'll put it as yellow and I'll publish that post. And I had a couple of other uh, posts on here that I shared as well. So I'm gonna go back to my, uh, my Padlet dashboard, find another one that I had recently set up just to grab a link to that. No, this is not the one that I was looking for. It is going to be under my recents under welcome to the course demo version how to record padlet directly in here so i had um, this link and these detailed instructions so i'll just get this info come back to my new padlet wall and put those instructions on here for my students to show them how to uh, record directly in padlet And I'll add my details. I'm going to get the link to this YouTube video here. Add that link in. And I'll change the color of this to, uh, to yellow again and publish that. So I have a couple of resources here for my students now, a prompt, uh, some instructions to show them how to add videos in here. And I have got uh, instructions up here as to what they should do with this board. So essentially it's recreating uh, what I had in Flip to begin with, uh, where students can upload videos and have their say. Um, as I note in my blog post on Flipping Mad, uh, there are some drawbacks to this compared to using Flip. There's some features that are not available, but it allows you the freedom to, uh, to Continue on with these activities without having to use the Teams environment if your institution doesn't use Teams and with, without creating some of those cognitive load issues of having to um, not be able to embed your Flipboard directly into your course in your LMS anymore and send students out to an external site.